Hey guys, Richard Velasquez here for Pressure Washer TV. So, one thing to look out for whenever you go to give your estimates is pay attention to the door. Is it a wood stained door? Because if it is, this is something that you need to pay attention to because you don't want your solution to get on this as it can, if the stain is weak, it can expose it. And then what it's gonna do is gonna brighten that wood up underneath the door. So as you can see right here, this stain is sacrificed on this door. This means if any of my solution gets on it, what this is going to do is going to clean the wood where the stain is has been sacrificed and the wood is being exposed. So then what that wood is going to do is going to look bright and clean and then they're going to be like, oh, you left streaks on my door. Well, actuality is because the door stain was sacrificed. That's just something to pay attention to whenever you go get the estimates. This is usually on the higher end neighborhoods. The situation is if I got to clean around this door, or those, I'll pre-soak this door with straight water, just water. And then I'll take a plastic tarp and I'll tape off this section. And I'll use that 3M safe release tape. And then that should at least keep the door, the door is already pre-soaked with water. And then by having the plastic there on top of that, over the door also, it should prevent any overspray from getting on the door. And if I don't happen to have plastic or that tape on me, what I'll do is I'll have my helper soak down the wall door with water. And then as I'm working in the area, he will continuously spray fresh water on this door. So this way, any solution that gets on there, it's immediately rinsed right off. It's not, it has any time to do any cleaning. So whenever you guys go out to give your bids, especially in the higher end neighborhoods, pay attention to that door. If it's a wood door and if it's got stain, see if that stain's been sacrificed. Hope this tip helps you guys. Take care.